Welcome to this week's edition of NC Transportation Now. I'm Crystal Feldman. NC DOT employees are quick to respond when severe weather threatens our transportation system and the safety of our citizens. Their dedication was again demonstrated during the recent flooding in northeastern North Carolina, where the remnants of Tropical Storm Julia dumped more than a foot of rain in parts of the region. Eleven counties experienced flooding, prompting Governor McCrory to declare a state of emergency for these counties. Numerous roads were closed, and transportation employees worked throughout the event to place barricades and reopen roads as soon as it was safe. Several roads remained closed for additional repairs, which crews are working to complete as soon as possible. The governor and Secretary Tennyson visited hard-hit Bertie County to assess the damage firsthand and hear how the state can help communities recover. We're going to get as uh, much resources here as possible. I've got my DOT representatives here. They're going to start working on some of these uh, beaver dams and other things. We're going to work with the mayor here any way we can help with emergency loans. Um, you know, I just want to urge the rest of the state and the rest of the nation know that uh, we, we've have a, people are hurting right here. For many NCDOT employees, most of the workday is spent outside along the highway. Jay Mazingo is one of those employees. His primary job with the department is to inspect work sites, sample and test materials to ensure compliance with NCDOT specifications, and maintain project records and documentation. In August 2015, Mozingo was performing what started out as a routine inspection of a job site when he heard the squealing of tires. He saw a vehicle run off the side of the road and crash into a farm pond, coming to rest 30 to 40 feet into the water. Mozingo took immediate action to save the driver, who had managed to get out of the car but was struggling and shouting for help because he couldn't swim. Mozingo jumped into the pond and after a heroic effort was able to rescue the driver. Because of his actions that day, Mozingo was honored this week at the Governor's Awards for Excellence in the Safety and Heroism category. An award of excellence is the highest honor a state employee may receive. Awards are presented annually in seven categories. Now that the kids are back in school, temperatures are falling, and the days are getting shorter, the annual transition to off-season schedules is underway for the North Carolina ferry system. Over the next six weeks, several gradual schedule changes will occur on four of the ferry system's seven routes. Swan Quarter, Ocracoke, Cedar Island, Ocracoke, Southport, Fort Fisher, and Hatteras, Ocracoke. For the full ferry schedule, go to ncferry.org. As a reminder, tickets are now on sale for NC by Train special stops at the NC State Fair and Lexington Barbecue Festival. To purchase tickets and view schedules, go to ncbytrain.org. That's all for this week's edition of NC Transportation Now. As always, stay connected with us through Facebook and Twitter. That's at NCDOT. And from everyone here at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.